Okay, today let's talk about C-strings. What's C-strings? How it's related to the array? It's an interesting topic for today. We know string is a sequence of character, right? So it could be W or R E, a sequence of character. C string is similar. It's a sequence of character. However, actually there's no string in C languages. In Java, we can easily define something like this. In Java, we can say string str equal new string, right? We can do something like this. However, in C, we cannot do it. So C don't have string. However, you will say, Joe, it's a little weird because I have read this before. Strings percent s, which is string str. I read this before, but if you say there's no string, how we use percent s as a data type. Okay, so let me make it clear. In C, again, there's no string, but there's a there's a trick to make a array to be a string. What's a trick? If I give you this stuff, H, E, L, L, O, if I give you an array, which is character, array for str equal to this, you can imagine that the array str is sequence of character and it's say H E L L O. However, this is just a row of character. If we want to make it a string, we need to add a special character called set zero in the end. So actually this string is a row of character with a special character that's zero at the end of the string. So if you ask me, okay, so I have a string called hello, what's the size? The answer I can tell you, the size is six, not five. Because one, two, three, four, five, you need to remember at another set zero as the six number. Okay, so how to represent string C? You give an array. Inside this array, the character array, the last character is slash zero. Then you can make a string. And when you print out, when you print out, print F, percent S, this format will try to bring out every single character until set zero. So if you don't have set zero in this array, it will try to bring out some garbage character after your hello. It will say hello, blah, 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 a lot of character. And you will say, oh, five, five is heaven, five is heaven. So, okay. So let me make it clear again. String in C equal character array. Character array and which contain slash zero at the end. Okay. So this is string C. Let's see some other example right now. Okay. Okay, let's start with a program. We say this is a new program. 
we can say is a uh, string, okay? String, let's see. Okay, so the code will be um, a basic integer. Oh, let's include uh, send our library, stdl, the edge. Then we have a main function. Of course, the main function, we always start with integer as a return type. So we return zero. Then we can say cutter uh, word one, which is array, cutter array equal to h e l l. Oh, okay. And don't forget, there's a slash zero. In this case, we can bring out the word one. This is how you define it. You can also do this, actually. What two equal to hello? Then you can also bring out the word word two. Make it simple. You can do something like this. And do this. Word three. Ignore these parentheses. You can do it. And if you are interested, if you are interested. We can try to look at the word three. What's the size of word three? Print size of word three equal to percent D, an integer, and size of word three. If if it's only contain five character. You should see five here. However, the re result will be six. The reason is that, okay, the reason is that it's include a special character. Okay, special character, slash zero. So this is our program. With GCC string, let's see, we generate the file name for string, then we execute the string. Um, let me make a set zero, so it should be set zero, the first one, is zero, set zero, and this is three, this is two, and this is one. And this will be more clear to with this set. Okay, you can see the size of word three is six, not five. So there's a special character set zero in this array to make a array a string. If without this character, special character, you don't have any string information. Actually, C does not support string. C use array of character to support string. Okay. Okay, so. If we have a string as as a array of character, can we compare it? Let's see. If I have a string one, character word one and character word, can we do something like if word one equal equal word two? If it is equal to true, print f. True. Otherwise, print out. Print out. Can we do it? Let's try. GCC and 
So it say false. Why? They should be equal, right? Word one and word two, they both are hello. Why? Why it's not equal? So actually you cannot do equal equal in this case. You cannot compare a, a, a array. What should we do if we want to compare two string? The idea is that we definitely need to define. Define, define what? Define an index, zero, an index i equals zero, then we should have uh, something like this. While they are not equal, while they are not equal to set zero, means it's not the end. We can compare, we can compare. So how to compare? If word one, i equal equal word two, i is fine. But if it's not equal, we should set the equal, equal to we should say equal, equal to zero because it's false, right? Because it's false. Otherwise, we don't need to change anything. So we can remove else, case. So while loop, if less, if less two string, can you try to pass? And you can see if it's not hit the end of string character. So it does not hit the set zero, it's still, there's still a characters you can compare to, compare with, then you compare with, okay? So if the character is not equal, you set up the equals zero. Then after while loop, okay, after while loop, if the word I with one, if the word one, I not equal to set zero, or, or word two, I not equal to set zero, what does this mean? This means one string already finished, another one doesn't. So if you have a string, hello, and another string called hello word, then after you hit the first string, it says there's zero because the hello is just five character, and hello word has more, more character. In this case, the word one should be equal to says zero, and what two not equal to say zero. Okay, so if lay if there's one there's one word does not hit the say zero means the the length of string should be different. In this case, you set up the equals equals zero. Okay. Print f percent f percent d. Just print out equals. Zero means false. One means true. Okay. I have update idea. I should update i plus plus here. Okay. So good. Let's try again. Okay. So one is equal to true, right? So here's the idea. If you want to compare two strings, you need to compare each character until the stress is zero. Okay, so right now let's look at the C languages. Uh, C provide a string library. So actually we can easily use string library to support the string comparison. Let's go back to our example. You can, you, you can use the library by include string.c.h, string.h, then you can use it if str cmp word one word two if this return zero if return this return zero means they are the same 
very similar to Java compared to. Then we can bring F true. Otherwise, bring false. Okay, so let's try. You can see it's true. So this is string comparison. Remember, there's no string, only array of character. If you want to compare to string, please use the library. Otherwise, you need to use a for loop to compare each character to make sure every single character, they are equal. This is the idea. Okay, so this is for today's lecture. I hope you enjoy it and have a good day. String is awesome.